hyphen. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. How are you, Lily? No, no, I'm well. I'm well. It's it's so nice to have this variety of courses coming out. Um, and and yours is a little bit different to ours. There's some some similarities, some differences. Um, I've noticed, especially you're honing in on the transparency area. But why don't you tell us a little bit about your course? Well, um, our course is uh, really the objective is to uh, recast some of the classical materials in the perspective of transparency. So we, we will talk about the transparency issues of uh, many of the classical algorithms, such as linear regression, regime regression, and also about the processes such as uh, cross validation, bootstrap, hypothesis testing, and so on. Yeah, no, it's really, really interesting. Um, and and definitely things that are well, they're close to my heart because I'm a I'm a statistician. Uh, or that's my that's my background. Oh, I've noticed yeah. you've got a lot of AI, um, a lot of AI experience on your end. Um, the author, really the author of the book, right? So we have tried to recast. It really is statistician. Right? You can see that that's yes. the book we we have tried to recast. It's classic. I really like the book a lot. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, and I, I've noticed that there's things that are quite central to your course that we're also trying to draw out as well. So you really dig into these methods a lot more on the kind of data, on the on the data handling side. The, the concepts behind them, and you go into a lot more depth than we do, and go into go through a lot more methods. We kind of look at these key concepts here and there, but you really dig into these methods. What what made you yes, feel that this? I, was... I should I should really give the credit to the author of the book. Uh, actually, <laughs> we just uh, really it's a repackaging, right? So uh, we can't take too much uh, of the credit. For example, we'll just give you some example where we. Um, Maybe I can show you some of the examples, right? Linear yes, regression. Yes, yeah, please do. Classic, right? So linear regression. What we do is uh, for all the algorithms, we will talk about the ingredient in a very consistent standardized form, input, output, module, loss function, any algorithm. And we also talk about the system transparency. And in particular, for particular algorithm, we will give an example trying to explain the, the system transparency. Um, for example, give an example talking about if the input will be um, some different uh, one than what you get output, and also the other from the other way, that is in order, right? So this in order get to get an output, then what will be uh, the input, right? So that's really a, a, a inverse problem trying to to explain, make it more transparent. For example, if you want to get some sales, then what should your um, advertisement budget should be? So this kind of uh, uh, transparency, I think, is uh, is embedded in the book, but uh, we make it just more uh, explicit uh, with uh, particular explicit uh, um, headings to make it very clear, and we try to provide that for for all the um, uh, algorithms. For example, here, um, I think, yeah, yeah. No, I think it's incredibly useful. It looks it looks very good, and you've got these lovely videos. I started watching a few of them. These videos on explaining, um, you know, what it, yes, exactly, these ones here. Um, yeah, so here we also try to reuse, right? So originally we thought, okay, maybe you can record videos, but uh, that's uh, the cost is high and we may not be able to do as good as uh, many other YouTubers do, right? So uh, therefore, I think what we did is really trying to reuse those very popular videos online, and uh, those are indeed very helpful, save us a lot of time, but the quality is really high help us to 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 yeah, explain the concept uh, uh, more clearly yeah no i yeah yeah why reinvent the wheel <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, so, yeah it's yeah, it, we are not likely to do better <laughs> no no it's um it's you know we, we like i said we touched the surface of some bits so yours is really comprehensive and it's so nice to see um you know the, the transparency behind these concepts got into. And I yeah, think I think one of the other thing we benefit from Turing is uh, um, is really the, the differentiation of uh, um, how to say um, this is really, let, let me go to here. Um, this is really benefit from Turing's work. That's really try to separate the transparency into system trans transparency. That's what we usually talk about. And also about the process transparency. Yes. That's something most students or, or, or like uh, beginners will, will, will know and they are not aware of this, but that's, I think, it, it's as at, at least as important as the model transparency. 
for example, processization, right? So these are really about the process transparency. So, so uh, we we have uh, um, tried to categorize uh, the the relevant content into these two categories. One is system transparency. One is process transparency. I think this perspective is benefiting from the the Turing's report um, in in the financial services. I, I think that's equally applied in general. So we we happily just take a, like you said, not really in the real, just take what uh, is out of there. Uh, and uh, just uh, recast uh, yeah, the materials in in this perspective. Uh, yeah. 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 No. Absolutely. Absolutely. Your your kind of interpretation of transparency here is kind of like demystifying, kind of explaining behind it, which I think is is fantastic. It's interesting how many different courses have taken on these different um, uh, interpretations. Indeed. Yeah. I think. I think. Yeah. This is uh, the core. Is one of the courses that have a particular focus and also quite comprehensive uh, um, coverage on this. For example, even for neural network, right? So we we try to cut in the uh, in the framework of the transparency. We will see that neural networks they are they are more like a semi-transparent. They are not uh, totally black box because you you know from the input how to get the output. Right? It's just the other way is very difficult. So, so we 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 also um, mentioned about this um, that is really benefiting from the definition framework from theory. It, yeah, I I am I'm blown away. I really am. I'm looking through it, it's 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 a beautiful course. <laughs> well, really just to stand on the shoulders yeah. of many giants, right? So I think yeah, really that's uh, the it's really a very uh, um, um, it's a golden time for for open sources, and you can see that we really benefit. Even the book is free, right? So you do. I mean, you of course we we bought uh, like six copies, but uh, if for those who cannot afford, you can just download the book for free. Uh, I think this is really a, the 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 best time for for learning stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and yours is using uh, Python primarily, aren't you? Throughout. Yes. Yeah. We use Python and all the. Um, most, I think, majority of the code uh, you can just run in Colab. You can click and open, and then you can um, simply um, simply run the code without any installation. So, so you can even do it in mobile phone. I have show one of my clicks. You can you can learn it. You can take a mobile phone, and you can run this on your mobile phone because it's actually running on the cloud. It's not uh, using your local resources. So I think that's uh, another very attractive feature of uh, um, of uh, this uh, design. So basically, um, mm. that makes things much uh, simpler for for majority of uh, um, users, particularly for those who have not uh, uh, um, who are beginners and they don't have much uh, um, background in in programming and so on. We also have comprehensive uh, prerequisite materials to prepare. Oh, wow. Those uh, um, users who may not have uh, sufficient mathematical background and programming background, but we have Python, Python basics. We just uh, our objective is try to try to make it as compact as possible, right? So we we know people are busy; they have limited time. So we try to um, keep only the the essential materials. Uh, so that they can spend the, the, the least time, but to, to get uh, the most uh, out of it. We also try to break down, that's also listen to, to children's uh, advice, try to break down into very small, small piece, small sizes, so that uh, they can, um, on average, I think may, they may, may, to finish each section, they may spend uh, one hour, I think one hour also to be able to help uh, most of users to go through the materials in one section. After that, we have these exercises with all the answers actually hidden. So basically, they can try it first, and then they can they can check the the answer. I think this is another nice feature of, uh, um, of what we have built in. So I think this is extremely important from my six years of teaching, so that they can really do the work first, and then then they can they can check the answer uh, with code examples. You can see. Or the, the the running outcomes. Um, so after that, it's all connected. You can go for the quiz, and uh, and uh, take the quiz to do an assessment of uh, what uh, you have achieved. Incredible, incredible. No, looks yeah. Like I say, I'm blown away, and and it's fantastic how it's oh, thank, you for the words, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Thank you.